Hey, what's up guys? My name is Felix. I'm a member of the Domeo Sports team and today we're going to be taking a look into the Domeo Moto Pro. We got our box. Let's take a look. Let's check it out. So we're just going to open it up there. Right here you have your Moto Pro information card. That's gonna have links online to things like your warranty and setup guide. This here is gonna hold your USB charging cables. Right here you have your mounts. Now there are two, they're just stacked on top of each other like that. All right, so this is actually gonna be your Moto Pro unit. And just to the left of that, you have your mic unit right here. Now right above your mic, you're gonna have your mic attachment slot. It's underneath a sticker, so just peel that off. It's gonna have your mic attachment. So this is gonna be for your open face helmet. And right underneath that, you're gonna have a strip here. This is gonna be for your closed fate helmet. All right, so now we're gonna take a look at the Moto Pro unit here, kind of go over the buttons and how everything works. So we have here, right up in the front there, that is our power button. You're gonna press and hold that. That's gonna turn your Domeo on. When you hold it again, that's gonna turn it off. Also, when the music is going, uh, you can press that button and it's gonna pause your music. You can press it again, it's gonna play your music. Also here we have the plus sign. That's gonna increase the volume when you tap that. If you press and hold it, it's gonna skip a song for it. The minus sign, same kind of thing. If you tap that, it's gonna lower the volume. If you press and hold that, you're gonna go a song back. Now when you turn on your Domeo, it's gonna automatically look to pair for your um, phone, but if you ever need to connect to another device or anything like that, if you press and hold the plus and the minus buttons at the same time, you can connect to a new device. Uh, so ours has already been paired, but just so you can kind of see how it works, uh, I'll just show you what it's like when you connect, okay? So when you first turn on your Domeo, these are the lights that are gonna be flashing. That red and blue, red and blue. So it's looking for your phone. When you do finally connect, it's gonna come up as Domeo Moto Pro on your phone. We're gonna go ahead and connect. So it makes a little beep, and then your light turns blue, okay? And that just flashes. So now you're paired. Now, if you have to ever connect to another device or anything like that, uh, you just press the plus symbol and the minus symbol. You hold them together at the same time. That's what I just did there. That's gonna get you to another device. All right, so now we're gonna go over the mic real quick. So take out a microphone here. If you look at the end just there, there's a button that kind of pops out. You're just gonna press and hold that button. It's gonna go green. Then it's gonna go blue. Awesome, so now that it's blue, it means it's connected to your Domeo, you're all set, all right? Now, if it's flashing red, that just means your Domeo is off. Okay, so turn your Domeo on, press it again, you'll switch, you'll be right back to blue. So also, if you look here, there's an indented button, all right? If you go ahead and you press that, if it flashes two white lights, that means it's, it's set up for an open-faced helmet, okay? If you press it again, flashes once, that means it's gonna be for a full-faced helmet. And one last feature I want to show you guys here is if that same power button, if you just hold that quickly for one second, it's going to come up with a color here, okay? Green is going to mean you're full battery, yellow is going to mean you're at half, and red means you're going to be at 20% or under. Awesome. So let's go ahead and get this set up on our helmet. So now it's time to mount our Pro Mic onto our full face helmet. We had this from our mic attachments a little bit earlier there, it's the Velcro strip. Uh, there's a little backing here, so we're just gonna go ahead and peel that off. Where this guy is gonna go, if you go to the inside of your helmet here, right in front of your mouthpiece, we are looking to put this one finger away from your padding and right at the bottom there of where the, your mouthpiece ends. So we're gonna go ahead and stick that. Perfect. So you stick that on there. Once you stick it on there, just like the mount, you're gonna wait 30 minutes for that to settle there, and then you'll be good to attach your microphone. So now we're gonna go over getting our mic attached. Um, so from before, we had our pad that we already attached down here, so that's our Velcro pad. What we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna attach the hook side of the pad to that, okay? You wanna have your flat bottom lined up to the flat of the bottom of your helmet's rim, okay? So it's gonna look like this when it goes in. Perfect, so you're just gonna make sure that attaches there, rub it in a little bit. Awesome, there we are, your mic's in. All right, so now we're gonna go over installing your mic mount into your open face helmet, all right? The idea here is, see the thick part of this? That's what we want facing in the direction of where your mouth is gonna go. We're gonna wanna put this in the center of your ear pocket through the padding placed against the side of the helmet, all right? Now the angle we're looking for, it's almost flat, but a little bit down facing towards where your mouth is gonna be. It's gonna look like that, okay? So just before when we're ready to put it in, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna peel off our P90 
piece of plastic covering your adhesive pad. We're gonna get it ready to mount in our helmet. So we're gonna get our ear pocket right in the center, just like that. Okay, so you're gonna hold it just like a sticker like we had before. We're gonna press it down and then one last press. And then we're not gonna wanna touch it for another half an hour, ideally 24 hours. So just set it aside and there we are. All right guys, so now we're gonna go over getting your mic attached into your mic mount in the helmet. All right, so what we're gonna wanna do is this part here is what you're gonna wanna attach onto your mount, all right? So we're gonna flip it over. You wanna have this flat side against the back of your ear pad. So basically we're gonna, gonna go in and we're just gonna attach them together like that. Just push it around, make sure it has a good connection. And then that's it guys, it's mounted. So let's go over mounting your helmet, okay? Um, just to start here, we're just gonna go over a couple concepts with you guys. So the first thing is, is the Domeo is always gonna face this way. So kind of like the fatter end facing the direction you're going. When you're gonna put something on your helmet, first I recommend you place some music through your Domeo and you actually put the helmet on your head. Okay, so once the helmet's on your head, you're gonna take the speaker and you're gonna start pressing it around to see where you like the sound best and how the sound works best for your helmet. We have a couple options here. Now, if you're using this for comms, I would suggest you put it on the side of your helmet because that's actually gonna get you the best volume. And just with comms, we find it works very well. But hey, if you're using it for music as well, no problem. You can put it on the top or you can put it on the back of your helmet. Now, if you're putting it on the back of your helmet, it's just gonna be facing downwards just like that. Just for the best communications possible, we're gonna be setting it up just like that. So now we're gonna go over how we're gonna mount it. Um, so if you look in your kit here, you have two mounts. We're gonna grab one of these mounts. Um, the first thing you're gonna notice about your mount is you're gonna flip it over and it's just got a warning label right there, okay? Now with your warning label, give it a read because it's important. Basically what it's saying is, is when you stick this to your helmet, don't fiddle with it for at least 30 minutes. Okay, now ideally we want you guys to wait 24 hours, that's gonna get you your best bind. But if you're in a rush, 30 minutes is fine as well. We're gonna go ahead and peel this off here. So we have that white sticker just in the back right there. We're gonna peel off that white sticker. That's gonna expose the adhesive pad at the bottom there. So you have this flat part at the back here, okay? And then you kind of have that rounded edge. Basically the rounded edge is gonna be the direction that you wanna go. Like I said before, I like to have my Moto Pro on the side of my helmet because I like the way that it sounds for my columns. Also, I love the look as well. I'm gonna set it up and I wanted it on that angle. So I'm gonna set it up just there, just like that, perfect. Now guys, just like a sticker, you're gonna wanna get that seal. So you just press around just like you would a sticker. Make sure that it's all completely on there, okay? And the last step you're gonna do is you're just gonna put a little bit of pressure. Okay, just press it down in there. Cool, right, so now that we got the pressure, remember I said, don't touch it, okay? So it's on there, take your helmet, put it away from you, okay? You're gonna wait at least half an hour, ideally 24 hours, and then we'll go ahead and we'll slide that Domeo in there. Final step today, we're just gonna take our Moto Pro here, you're gonna put it flat against the mount, just like that, and you're just gonna slide it in. It's gonna kinda click like that, and once it's in, it's not going anywhere, all right? Now to get it out, there's levers on either side of your mount here. You're just gonna press the bottom one, press the top one at the same time, push, and it'll come out just like that, guys. That's it. Our Domeos are installed. Mine looks sick. Thanks for watching. Enjoy riding. See ya.